Hey guys, Frosty Dives here, and since today is uh, May 4th, may the 4th be with you, Star Wars Day, I decided I was going to do something a little different, uh, something I've wanted to do for a while, and that is show you guys my Star Wars book collection, and I have them all arranged in order. I spent like most of the day putting these things in piles. Um, so we're going to go through the books, not in the order in which they were written, um, not in publication order, but we're going to go through them in chronological uh, order as if you wanted to read the whole expanded universe. Um, these are the, this is the order that you would read the books in. Um, so I have a large, I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, like, like eight piles of books right here. Um, I did this one time. I spent two and a half years reading nothing but Star Wars books. So I've read all of these and I did read them in order. Um, and it was kind of, kind of a pain yet fun at the same time. So, okay. So here we go. We're going to start off. Um, now this is the expanded universe. Remember that this is, uh, before Disney came in in 2012 and decided that all of this was crap and that this wasn't canon anymore. This was canon for us at the time starting in 1992 um so when these were coming out these this was official expanded star wars stories um so anyway um the first book in the collection uh in chronological order we're going way back to the old republic this is star wars uh darth bane path of destruction i do not have a lot of old republic books or comics uh, this is about the only one, one or two that I have. Um, and we're not going to go over each of the books. I'm not going to tell you about each of the books. I might, you know, give you a little pointers as to why they're important or some hallmark moments in the books. But for for right now, it's just going to be a look at the collection. So here we are with uh, Darth Bane, Path of Destruction. Uh, what's important about Darth Bane is he's the Sith that created the Rule of Two. Right there. Two, there should be no more, no less. One to embody the power the other to crave it. Um, so Darth Bane is the Sith Lord who started the rule of two as far as the Sith goes. Um, so as far as my collection goes, this is the book you would start with. This is the oldest in chronological order. Next one followed by Star Wars Darth Plagueis, which was a good read. Uh, this is the story of Plagueis and Sidious. Um, so this was, this was nice. Um, so these are the two oldest sort of books we have. I have. And then that's followed up with, here we go, novelization, Star Wars Episode, Phantom Menace. And we're going to start getting into things that people know. Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Um, yeah, nice picture of, uh, whoops, sorry, a little shaky camera there. Sidious on the back. And then followed up with uh, the novelization, Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones by R.A. Salvatore. He's a pretty good writer. And then, much to my dismay, I do not have the novelization of Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith, which I thought I did, but I don't, and it really makes me sad. And then the next book after Revenge of the Sith would be uh, Star Wars: Dark Lord: The Rise of Darth Vader, and this is the direct sequel. Well, you know, sequel to Revenge of the Sith, sequel before Disney wiped it out. Um, so is the sequel to um, Revenge of the Sith. Okay. And then we've got... Oh, actually, I actually went out of order. Then I have Star Wars Rogue Planet. This should actually be in... After Phantom Menace. Then you're going to want to read Rogue Planet. It's a story about Obi-Wan and... Uh, young Anakin on a on a mission. So, Zenoma Sika. They're going to a planet for. To, they're going to Zenoma Sika, which we're going to find out a little bit later that that's very important to a book series that comes out uh, forty years later. So, anyway, that's that. This is where I started. This is where I started. I started with the Han Solo trilogy. So we have. The Han Solo Trilogy, Paradise Snare, Book 1, followed by Book 2, The Hut Gambit, and followed by 
book three, Rebel Dawn, and this tells the story of a young Han Solo who was a slaver, who was on a slave ship, and how he rescued uh, Chewbacca, how he won the Millennium Falcon, all of, this is all of Han Solo's backstory. These are very good novels to read. Um, this is where I started in my expanded universe journey, officially. I started with the Han Solo trilogy. These are very good to read if you want to pick them up. Um, these are going to be start being hard to find now. And then there's I have Han Solo at Star's End. This is an oldie. Um, this came out in... How the hell did this come out in the 70s? This came out in 1979. So this was one of the f like first novelizations when someone decided to write a story in the Star Wars universe. This was one of the things we got. Han Solo at Star's End. This is an oldie. I haven't actually read this one, but that's an oldie right there. And then, of course, after the Han Solo trilogy, that leads directly in to Star Wars from the Adventures of Luke Skywalker. I have this in two formats. I have this in uh, softcover, then I have it in hardcover, Star Wars from the Adventures of Luke Skywalker by George Lucas. And that's in the back of that one has all of the people on it in it. And and because this this book was written based off of like the fourth draft of the movie, the fourth draft of the screenplay, it's not exactly look, there's photos in it. It's not exact there's discrepancies. Let's just say that. There's some discrepancies in this book. Some color illustration. So then you'd go to Star Wars. This is where a lot of people are gonna pick up Star Wars. And then after that comes uh, Star Wars Tales from the Most Eisley Cantina. And these are short stories. And they're all individual stories based on, you know, creatures in the cantina. There's um, all, you know, different authors wrote short stories of... of uh, there's a lot of, of these collections and these are, are really good. You get to know all the little denizens of the cantina. And from there, we're going to a book called Star Wars Allegiance, written by Timothy Zahn. And this is where we got to, we get to see. This is where you're gonna if you're reading them in chronological order. This is where you're first going to meet Mara Jade. Mara Jade, who plays a very important role in the expanded universe. Um, if you are reading the books in publication order, then you first meet Mara Jade in Heir to the Empire. But if you're reading them in chronological order, you're gonna meet Mara Jade here in Allegiance which takes place between Star Wars and Empire. And then the next book you're going to want to read is Empire Strikes Back. Dun, da, 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 Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back Wars. Right there. Novelization of that. And then another collection, Star Wars Tales of the Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunters, and there's six uh, stories in here. One for each bounty hunter. One, two, three, four, five, six. So Tales from the Bounty Hunters. Story C. Stories of each of the bounty hunters. And then uh, you got next book you're going to want to read is Shadows of the Empire. This takes place between Empire and Jedi. This is where we're first introduced to Prince Shizor, right there, where we're taught where we, we first meet Black Sun, which is a crime syndicate, uh, a, a very big crime syndicate that's uh, just as large as the Huts. Um, and this is where. Um, where they start, where 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 Palpatine starts telling Vader he's got to go kill Luke, and so this is a really good book. I would highly recommend picking this book up and reading it. This is really really well done. Um, this is a great novel right there. And then of course we go to the Return of the Jedi. That would be the next book you'd read. This one doesn't have any pictures in it. Oh yes, it does. Pictures. Return of the Jedi. Of course, now that takes care of the original trilogies. And then you follow that up with Tales from Jabba's Palace, which, just like Tales from Mos Eisley Cantina, is, you know, 15, 20 stories or so about the creatures in Jabba's Palace. Gamorrean Guards, Bib Fortuna's Tale, uh, Ula's Tale, you know, all different tales of the different creatures. Um, and these are, these, all these collections are very good. And then, next up is a trilogy uh, about the Bounty Hunter Wars. Which is uh, book one, Bounty of the Wars, Mandalorian Armor. Book two is Slave Ship. And book three is Hard Merchandise. And this is a trilogy where uh, they try to like break the Bounty Hunter Syndicate, the Bounty Hunter Guild. They try to destroy it. 
um, after, you know, they're not, them failing to capture Luke and all this other stuff. So Palpatine's attempt at destroying the bounty hunters and the bounty hunter guild. Um, so that's the next trilogy. And then we get into, uh, then where we go from there. We go from the sequel to Return of the Jedi. We go Truce of Pakura. And this takes place literally six hours after Jedi ends. So this is where the expanded universe really now we're going to start chugging along. And this is the Truce at Pakura. This takes place no sooner as Darth Vader's funeral pyre burned to ashes. This is literally six hours after, after, uh, after Endor, after... Um, the Death Star has just been destroyed. I don't know if it says that, but it literally picks up right after Jedi. And then the next one, um, then we get into the X-Wing series. And the X-Wing series is pretty good. Uh, there's quite a few in, in that one. Um, but it's, it's basically all about, you know, Wedge and, uh, and the X-Wing. So, uh, Rogue Squadron, that's the next one in chronological order. Followed by X-Wing Wedge's Gamble, Gamble. Followed by X-Wing the Kratos Trap. The X-Wing series are really good. X-Wing the Bacta War, because it doesn't take place with, with the main characters. X-Wing Wraith Squadron. This is all about Wedge and the X-Wing pilots. This, this really doesn't have focus on Luke, Han, and Leia. This focuses on Wedge and his, his pilots. X-Wing Iron Fist. And X-Wing... Solo Command. There's a nice picture of the Falcon right there. So, good, good X-Wing series, which which shifts from our main characters to the ancillary characters, to Wedge and, you know, his guys. And then next up is Courtship of Princess Leia. It's where Leia gets married. Yay, this is where Han and Leia decide that they're going to they're gonna tie the knot. This is also where we first learn about uh, the planet Dathomir and the Night Sisters of Dathomir. They ride Rancors. So that one's next. Let me follow that up with Tatooine Ghost. Right there. Which this comes with an exclusive uh, sort of little novella called The Forest Apart. So this is Tatooine Ghost plus the ebook A Forest Apart. Special bonus. And then we get to Zahn. The Thrawn Trilogy, Heir to the Empire, Dark Force Rising, and The Last Command. I'm going to show you guys something. This comes out in 1992. Right here in the back it says, For the first time, the authorized continuation of the legendary Star Wars saga. Done by Timothy Zahn. Originally, this was going to be Episode 7, 8, and nine. This was going to be the trilogy after the original trilogy. This is what we got. And I actually have to say that I think Heir to the Empire is a hell of a lot better than The Force Awakens. The, this trilogy right here, if, if, if we never got another movie, if this was our 7, 8, and 9, it would be perfect because this is great. And Timothy Zahn introduces so many great characters. Grand Admiral Thrawn. This is Mara Jade. Talon Card, the, the, the smuggler. And so much going on in here. This is such a good series. And I highly, highly recommend that if you read nothing out of this entire section, if you bring away nothing from this, read read these. Read the read the Zahn trilogy. Um, because these are just, these are amazing books. And even if you don't like Star Wars, these are amazing books. These are just so well done. And in my mind, at least in my in my official mind, in the back of my little nerdy head, this is still seven, eight, and nine. The Force Awakens is a nice movie, but it's not heir to the Empire. So um, I don't know what to tell Disney, but these, in my opinion, are still better. So, and then after that, you would read uh, it's another X Wing book, uh, Isar's Revenge. That would be the next one to read after the Zon trilogy novels. And then you've got another trilogy, um, Kevin Anderson's The Jedi Academy Trilogy, uh, Jedi Search, Dark Apprentice, and Champions of the Forest. This is where Luke Skywalker rebuilds the Jedi Academy. This is where you first meet Admiral Dalla, too, right there. So this is Luke rebuilding the Jedi Academy on Yavin and um, recruiting a new, new generation of Jedi Knights. 
Then we got I Jedi, where you meet Corrin Horn, right there. This is the only one, I think, in the whole expanded universe that's written in first person. This one's written in first person. It's a pretty good book. And then we've got uh, Children of the Jedi, right there. And then the next one we've got is uh, Darksaber. It's kind of an interesting one, right there. Followed by Planet of Twilight, by Barbara Hambly. And then we've got another X-Wing book, Starfight is a Vatimar. Followed by another trilogy, which I don't seem to have the, the last book in. Black Fleet Crisis. You've got uh, Before the Storm, Shield of Lies, and apparently I don't have book three. I only have book one and two. But that's a trilogy, which is really weird. And then we've got uh, Star Wars The New Rebellion. Which, you know, new people, and they're rebelling against the New Republic. Imagine that. Then we got another uh, another a trilogy. We've got the Corellian trilogy. Han Solo's home planet erupts in war. We got uh, Ambush at Corellia, Assault on Salonia, and Showdown at Centerpoint. And this is really takes place on Han Solo's home world. And you, you get to learn all about Han Solo's family, and Han Solo, and Corellia, and the system, and... You want to, you know, if you want to get into Corellia, you like Han and his backstory and the, the planets and whatnot. Um, here's the second, quote unquote, Han Solo trilogy. And then we got another duology. Then we've got uh, Spectre of the Past and Vision of the Future by Timothy Zahn. Again, I highly recommend picking up all of the Zahn novels. If nothing else, read Zahn. Read the Zahn novels. These are great, great books. And then we finish that up with another Zahn novel, which is Survivor's Quest. Uh, Mara J. Luke Skywalker, they eventually get married, and they have a little child named Ben. Ben Skywalker. They, they're the ones in the books that have, that have, uh, have Ben. Okay, and then we go to another, we go to another, from there, we get into the New Jedi Order. And the New Jedi Order is just huge. Um, oh, it should be worth noting that uh, Han and Leia have three children. The twins, Jason and Jaina, and the youngest one, Anakin. So they have three solo children. That comes in handy later on in life. But um, then we get into the hugely massive New Jedi Order. Book one of the New Jedi Order. Spoiler alert, this is the book that Chewbacca dies in. Chewie dies in this book, and it is sad, but hey, he has an epic death. He has a moon fall on him. And that's all I'm going to say. But this begins the New Jedi Order, followed by uh, Book 2 of the New Jedi Order, Dark Tide 1, Onslaught, Dark Tide 2, uh, Ruin, um, Agents of Chaos 1, Heroes Trial, uh, Agents of Chaos 2, Jedi Eclipse. Uh, balance point. This is, this is all war, man. This shit goes down in these books. Edge of Victory 1, Conquest. And there's a picture of Anakin. So, Anakin Solo. Edge of Victory 2, Rebirth. I mean, this is all about war and the galaxy at war. This is great stuff right here. Star by Star. That's what they use on Vong look like. Followed by Dark Journey. And uh, Rebel Dream. And then uh, Rebel Stand, which is Enemy Lines 1 and 2. And then we've got Traitor. That's a picture of Jason Solo right there. And we got uh, Destiny's Way. Followed by Force Heretic 1, Remnant. Uh, Force Heretic 2, Refugee. And we got uh, Force Heretic 3, Reunion. And then the final prophecy, very great keys, and then the final book in the series, the ending of it, the unifying force, close of conclusion to the new Jedi series, yada yada, there's Jason Solo, there's Luke Skywalker, and then that basically rips the entire universe apart, I mean the, the war just, the, the Vong war, the new Jedi Order war was just phenomenally great. And then after that, you have a trilogy. This is the Darkness trilogy, and there are three books in here. I just got the one that had all three. Uh, the Joiner King, The Unseen Queen, and the last one is The Swarm War. So this one book 
collects all of the Dark Nest trilogy. So that comes after that. And then we follow it up with the Legacy of the Force trilogy. Oh, not, not, no, that's not a trilogy. Legacy of the Force series. This is the series where Jason Solo goes to the dark side and he becomes Darth Cadus. Um, and there's Jason Solo getting ready to go to the dark side. Legacy of the Force Betrayal. Uh, Legacy of the Force Bloodlines. Legacy of the Force Tempest. Uh, Legacy of the Forced Exile. Uh, Legacy of the Forced Sacrifice. And we follow that up with Star Wars Legacy of the Forced Fury. And then uh, Legacy of the Forced Revelation. Look at the evil Jason Solo. Darth Cadus. And finally, the conclusion of this series, Legacy of the Force Invincible, where Jaina has to fight and kill her twin brother, Jason. Ah, the Solo's at war. And then we go to uh, Star Wars Millennium Falcon, which is supposed to be a story about the origin of the Millennium Falcon, but from what I remember of this, it wasn't actually really about the origin of the Falcon. Oh well, still a good read. And then finally, the last series of the run was uh, Star Wars The Fate of the Jedi. This is a long series, and I only have three books of it. Uh, Fate of the Jedi is the first book, Outcast, followed by Omen. And then followed up by Abyss. Um, and, and this is all I have. There's about uh, nine, nine books or so more left in the series. Or six. Six or nine, I don't know. There's, there's more to, to it. I think it might be just six. This is all I have. And then finally, the last book to come out in the Expanded Universe was Star Wars X-Wing Mercy Kill. And I actually just bought this not that long ago, so I haven't read it. So, and this is the actual final book in the Expanded Universe. The rest of the books that are coming out now are canon, and they're part of the Disneyverse, and all of this stuff here is just canon fodder. Yay. And then a couple of one-offs that I have. I have a book for Star Wars, The Young Jedi Knights. This is Shards of Alderaan. This is um, this takes place after Luke created his Jedi Academy. And these are young adult novels. This is the young adult, the Star Wars Young Jedi Knights. And there was a whole bunch of them. Um, uh, with Jason and Jaina and, you know, all the other Jedi, Jedi Knights in training. So... Um, I might eventually pick pick all these up because I want to buy all of the Expanded Universe books that I don't have. And then finally, a couple of graphic novels. I have uh, Star Wars Clone Wars Volume 1, The Defense of Kamino and Other Tales. Followed by Star Wars The Clone Wars Volume 2, Victories and Sacrifices. And I think this might actually have been superseded by The Clone Wars Show. So... This came out before the show, The Clone Wars, and I think Clone Wars actually supersedes this, so these are fun stories, but, you know, I don't think they're whatever. And then, um, final two graphic novels that I ha have, which are actually hard to find, and good luck getting your hands on some of these, Star Wars Dark Empire, and then Star Wars Dark Empire... Two, which also includes Empire's End, which is the third uh, novel in this sort of comic book trilogy. So, Dark Empire, Dark Empire 2. This is when Luke goes to the dark side. This is when the Emperor, Emperor Palpatine gets resurrected. And this is when Han and Solo's third child, Anakin, is born. All of this happens in the Dark Empire series. And these are really good. I mean, these are just really... Um, let me see if I back this up here. Really just... Well drawn, I think well drawn, well done graphic novels, but good luck finding these because these are all out of print and, you know, Dark Horse Comics put these out and whatnot. Um, so yeah, if you can find these nowadays, good luck to you. These are kind of like hard to find. Holy, I, I'm so glad I have got my hands 
on on those. They're they're hard to find, but they're well worth the time and effort to read. So there you have it, folks. That is my Star Wars novel slash paperback slash hardcover slash expanded universe collection. That is everything I have. That is not everything that has been published, but I do plan on buying. Whenever I go to used bookstores, I'm going to you know try to find the rest of these, all the books that I can, Old Republic, New Republic, whatever I'm missing, so that I can have a full collection of Star Wars novels. But um, hope you enjoyed the journey through the expanded universe. Um, that's to Disney for making all of this null and void um, right now. You know, uh, this is what just what you get, Disney, because there's some good shit in this expanded universe. And because of what you did, this is not canon anymore. And it makes my head spin. So as far as I'm concerned, The Force Awakens is a nice movie. But... This is still the universe that I lived in because um, I've lived in it for so long that to me it's still canon and it's always going to be canon. And I'm going to treat the new movie trilogy as sort of an alternate what if timeline kind of thing. That's what I'm going to do. That's how I keep the two universes straight in my head. So hope you enjoyed uh, the video. I know it was rather long, but as you can see, there were a lot of books to get through. Um, if anybody wants any in-depth the review analysis or you want me to talk about any of the books that you've seen here or any of the series or any of the, you know, different iterations of the Expanded Universe, let me know in the comments below. And we'll go ahead and talk about it in separate videos. If you like it, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share it around, tell your friends, tell your enemies. And until next time, uh, thanks for watching.